and y are given by x equals sine theta i plus 2 cos 2 theta j. y is 2i minus j. We want to find the values of theta between 0 and 2 pi such that x is perpendicular to y. Since x is perpendicular to y, the dot product or the scalar product will be equal to 0. So multiplying the i components, 2 times sine theta, notice that I don't include the i, will give me 2 sine theta. Minus 1 times 2 cos 2 theta gives me minus 2 cos 2 theta, all equal to 0. Having an equation in sine and cos, difficult to solve, and also note that the angles are not equal. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the cos double angle formula to make sure that we've got matching amounts of theta as angles. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to write cos 2 theta in terms of sine theta, so I'll get 1 minus 2 sine squared theta. If I substitute this into our equation, I get 2 sine theta minus 2 lots of 1 minus 2 sine squared theta equal to 0. Expand the bracket, so I get 2 sine theta minus 2 plus 4 sine squared theta all equal to 0. Let's divide the whole equation by 2 as it's got a common factor 2 running through it should hopefully make life a little bit easier for us. So I can rewrite this as 2 sine squared theta plus sine theta minus 1 equal to 0. So this can be broken up. I could have 2 sine theta and sine theta. It can go straight into brackets since We've got 2 as a prime number as a coefficient and minus 1 as a prime number as a coefficient. Nice and straightforward to factorise. It's got to be plus and minus 1. The way to do this is I want to get positive sine theta, so I need to get plus 2 sine theta and then minus 1 sine theta. Now, solving the brackets, let's solve sine theta equal to 1 first of all. Sine theta equal to, sorry, minus 1 leads us to get theta equals... 3 pi by 2. And in the range 0 to 2 pi, there is only one value of theta that has minus 1. Solving for the other bracket, we get sine theta equals a half. So then theta will be equal to pi by 6. And when we do pi minus pi by 6, to get the second solution, we get 5 pi by 6. Let's look at how the marks are awarded in this question. First of all, method mark if you use scalar product is equal to 0. You then get a method mark if the scalar product is calculated or in some way correctly. You get this expression. Uh, not including the i's though, and you get an accuracy mark if you've done this correctly, 100% correctly, and it's equal to zero. Moving on, we get a method mark for which the following marks are dependent on it if you make this substitution for cos 2 theta. Finally, you get an accuracy mark if you found that phi theta can be equal to 3 pi over 2, and you get another answer or accuracy mark if you got both the values pi by 6 and 5 pi by 6. hope that all made sense and that you understood the question.